Hello Virgo! Hello Virgos! <laughs> Welcome to your January 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Energy and Star Sign readings. And um, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So what we will do here, we will divide the video slightly in, in sections or in areas so it is easier for you to understand it. Um, so what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Virgo. Uh, before we then go into um, your emotional core, so we will look at your emotions. Um, that could be trauma that needs to go, this could be love that needs to be rekindled, or uh, maybe even love coming in. Um, and then lastly, we will go and look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the, the, months, of, in the months of January. And opportunities, for the most part, in this sense here, um, have to do with whatever it is that sustains you financially and so we're looking at what can be tweaked there now before we do all of this just remember this is january 2022 and on the 2nd of january there is a new moon which means if you ever wanted to manifest new beginnings this is your chance because it happens right on the on, on the 2nd of january right in the beginning at the beginning of the new year so anything you want to, to you want to um manifest has a much better chance of achieving and of creating itself um, in a way because of the new moon. Now, the new moon is obviously a, a, um, a moon that is not illuminated, there's no light, and then it takes from the new moon, the no light moon, <laughs> to the full moon, the full light moon, um, uh, two weeks. And so light comes in slowly, Right? After, the, after the new moon, which means whatever it is you manifest, allow it to flow and allow it to get more visible in time. Therefore, Virgos, don't rush anything. There's a bit of a, a very positive thing happening as well, because on January the 4th, we are at what is called perihelion, which means the Earth, as it were, is closest to the sun. And since the sun is what gives you your energy, there's an energy boost coming in on the 4th of January. So utilize this. Now let's have a look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the star sign of Virgo for the months of January 2022. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the wolf, you have birds and you have the jaguar. Birds are the ones in the middle, so we pay a little more attention to these ones because their energy gets amplified by the other two animal guides surrounding them. Your incoming energy for the month of January, Virgos, is the wolf. And the wolf is saying to you, unless you run your pack, unless you're in charge of your own affairs, nothing really works. So make sure you're not blindly following other people's leads, if that makes sense, right? Be in charge of your own Almost like I, I, I sort of hear like uh, of your own creations, which then obviously suggests that in order for you to create new things, <coughs> um, you have to first maybe free yourself from whatever shackles there are that hold you back, right? Because your middle animal guides are birds, plural, and that means detach yourself a little, see things from a higher point of view, right? So you can figure out um, where am I going in life. Where am I in life? And whatever I now see that can be assessed because I detach myself a little, um, how much sense does that make to my well-being to be in, the, in this situation? So that's really important. And then the outgoing energy, energy uh, for your overall energy, dear Virgos, is the jaguar. And the jaguar is an animal that, is, that describes wholeness, right? So... The main thing for you to realize is, is that you're not only enough the way you are, but that you're great the way you are. But you have to say it to yourself, because you also, Jaguar is an animal has unique dots. And so therefore, um, it is not a hindrance or problem to not necessarily, you know, gel with, 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 with the masses, right? So that's your overall energy for the months ahead. And um, so this is January 2022, we're looking at the star sign of Virgo, and now we're looking at your emotional core. You hear all these noises in the background, it's just my cat playing. 
Um, and I'm not going to tell them off just because I'm doing a reading, right? It's not going to be that loud. <laughs> so with regards to anything to do with your emotions, you have the sparrow hawk, the turtle and the red-headed woodpecker. How this works is you have two animals, literally, um, that tell you that no matter what life throws at you, you will be fine, right? So you have the hawk. The hawk says, I'm using the upthrust of the air to glide. So go with the flow. Really important. And you, you had the message of going with the flow already in your overall energy. So that seems to be uh, an important thing for Virgos to actually understand, right? So the hawk is saying, I'm using the upthrust of the air to glide, right? And the gliding, which means not wasting energy, um, but observe, ob observing um, the world is what gives you clarity. And then the, the animal in the middle is the turtle. And again, that literally means with regards to love, because that's the topic I'm getting here. With regards to love, nothing can be rushed. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't, right? If things need to be tweaked too much, it probably isn't worth it, right? So I'm not here to tell you who to date, who not to date, who to be with, who not to be with. So, you know, understand this the way you understand it. Right? Don't shoot the messenger, but what I'm getting is because you have the turtle, which means you are very loyal and you stay with situations probably way longer than you should. Right? The people that you love have to deserve you first. Simples. And then the outgoing energy is the red-headed woodpecker. And the woodpecker is saying to you, no matter how crooked the tree, and the tree represents your life, I will manage to work it. So what they're saying is, if things are a bit stale with regards to love, or if you're planning on um, inviting new love into your life, it will work, right? Things will work. The important thing is for you to realize that people really have to deserve you first and have to treat you nicely, because that's what I'm getting for Virgos. Hasn't always happened, um, you know, and... When people say something um, and they might not even mean it very badly, you cannot just brush it off and go on. So people have to watch how they how they talk and also, you know, how dare they tell you um, anything negative, right? If they if they don't like you, bugger off, right? Find someone else, but leave the Virgos alone, right? Because as 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 the sign of the maiden, you are a sign. There's a bit. Um, there's a bit of Libra energy in Virgo, if that makes sense. So harmony is a really important thing for the sign of Virgo. And when it comes to relationships of any thought, if they're not, if there's no harmony in them, or, or harmony is hard to achieve, then you have to constantly question whether or not they're worth having, right? So... Let's have a look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you, Virgos, in the, in the month of January 2022. This is a general reading, so it might not necessarily resonate with all of you. But there are really positive energies here with regards to your opportunities. While the guides are not super specific, I can tell you what they have here. Because you have the rabbit and the bighorn sheep. Now... Money is not a spiritual currency, so you cannot manifest money. What you should manifest is um, the things that money would buy you, if that makes sense, right? Um, and you have the incoming energy. We only have two animals here, rabbit and the big horn sheep. The rabbit is literally saying to you, look, I have all these rabbit holes and each one goes somewhere. Just take your pick. Do not overthink. Don't try to control things. Don't, don't try to go like... Where am I supposed to go, right? Just look at the opportunities in front of you. Look at the rabbit holes as they present themselves to you. And just keep going and you will be fine. And you will be fine because you have the bighorn sheep. Now the bighorn sheep is what we call a money card, which is why I, I said money is not a spiritual currency. But the bighorn sheep hangs on a cliff, right? On two legs and doesn't fall. So ultimately with regards to whatever it is that... that um, sustains you financially or if you feel like I don't want to do that anymore right and you manifest the new what wherever you put your heart that venture will work as well 
because the bighorn sheep hangs on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. But because uh, uh, you know the cliff is obviously on top of the mountain, it will take you, or the, or the bighorn sheep in that sense, maybe quite a while to get there in the first place. So my, my feeling for Virgos is to actually look into things, study them well, master them, and then use that as a bigger toolbox for your future, if that, if that makes sense, right? And also, um, it is important to understand for, for Virgos that when you feel people don't give you any credit for what you know, you already struggle a little with self-esteem issues. And so once you, when you know your stuff, right, Things take care of themselves. So that's what I'm getting for you is to also look into maybe into education. The interesting thing about your final uh, animal here is that the bighorn sheep has the ears, uh, sorry, has the, the horns around the ears. So what they're saying to you is listen to what's going on around you. Pay attention to not only what people say, but how people speak, right? Really important for Virgos that people talk to you with decency and kindness, because you are too deep, if that makes sense. Um, and I said that earlier, um, to brush things off when people are by default just idiots, right? Virgos, that's all I got. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And I'll see you next time.